I'm Tara Melspa, and I'm with the world champion free runner, Ryan Doyle. Ryan's here with us all the way from the UK. So Ryan, why are you here in San Diego State? Um, well, I'm checking out the SDSU basketball game. I'm here to support those guys. But other than that, I've um, just been doing parkour around the campuses and adapting free running to see to wherever I want to go, really. And it's pretty cool. What goes through your mind when you're free running? Is there, are you scared you're going to bump into buildings or you're not going to land correctly? Oh, no. I mean, I never really do anything I'm not 100% sure of. It once you're so familiar with like heights and gravity and how your own body works, you kind of just know how to have fun with it. So, I mean, if you look at what we're doing, we're kind of doing all this scary stuff, but we seem so relaxed with it, that's because we know we're safe, you know, so we can enjoy the flying time, you know, and I'm addicted to adrenaline and I, I love it. And when I get tired and when I crack open the can of Red Bull and try again, you know, we've got a, like a few projects. I do a lot of like film and media stuff, so we've got like, We've got free run of the movie coming out in July. Uh, we're just on um, the MTV series Ultimate Parkour Challenge, so I do a lot of television media stuff. Well, you go to cities, and pretty much cities are all the same, a lot of right angles. Then I went to Santorini in Greece, which is this like, little Greek island in the, in the middle of the uh, Mediterranean, and it was just amazing, the levels and the walls. It was, it was just like, I'd never seen nothing like it. it was... So, since it is an art, how do you make it your own? How, what's your style? Well, I'm a martial arts tricker, like foundation. I mean, I've always been involved in movement, but it's that martial arts foundation that contributes to how I perceive obstacles, how I overcome them. And then, you know, you got other guys who are like break dancers or gymnasts or capoeira background, and they'll they'll do things differently to me. Not that that they do anything wrong. It's like they just do it their way. I mean, I mean, you hear the free running and parkour. Parkour is like being efficient, but free running is just exploring what your body is capable of. I like to change the way people think. You know, if everyone thinks a little bit more efficiently, it, it is. It's about being efficient and overcoming obstacles to get to your destination. And that destination doesn't have to be somewhere physical. It could be like you know, it could be a goal you want to achieve or a place you want to mentally be at or something. So you kind of connect the dots, come to the quickest solution to solve each problem to get what you want in life, so you don't have to always apply physically, you can apply it mentally. And I know one of the biggest obstacles was in 2007 during the Red Bull Art of Motion competition. You snapped your shin in two, right? Yeah. So has that affected your free running at all, or has it I mean, discouraged you? No, not really. I need my injuries, you know, I mean, I'm all about experiences, good and bad, and you've got to have the bad to appreciate the good, but it's, it's, it's overcoming, you know, I mean, overcoming obstacles and that was just another obstacle and people always say are you scared to fall and I'm like well no because I'm not scared to progress if everyone just did a little bit of parkour brain training and thought a little bit more efficiently I think things would just develop m much faster it's a philosophy it's a way of life you know it's it's not really a sport because it, it's it's a physical art 